In this video, we will learn how to set the common route or base route in ASP.NET Core Web API application. Uh, since we are using the same application that we have created in our ASP.NET Core video series, um, in our previous video, we have discussed about token replacement in routing. Now, um, I want to have this concept in all the methods. So we can do this in two methods. First method is we can write the same route uh, for all the methods. Second method is we can write this URL in controller level. So let's remove it from here, then paste it here. Now, uh, if you are using any route at controller level, then this will be known as base URL. After the base URL, if you are using any further route, uh, an action method, then we need to append this URL to this uh, base URL. Now, let's comment these routes. because we have written controller and action in controller level. So we can access all these methods by using the method name. Okay, now run this application. In this URL, first uh, we have to append the controller name and then followed by uh, action method name. So controller name is student and the method name is get all. Let's press enter. Here we got the output from first method. Now let's use the second method. Method name is get all names. So change the URL, get all names, then press enter. Here we got the output from second method. In this scenario, we are passing controller name um, and then um, action method name. Now I want to bind the ID here. For that, go back to Visual Studio, stop the execution. In the student controller, I think we have one method, get by ID. Okay, let's modify this method here we can pass only uh, id now in this route url uh, we can pass only id that's it so here we have to define uh, id only because already we have defined base route in controller level okay now save and run this application Now navigate to the URL controller name student and the method name get by ID. Then we have to pass the ID value here. Let's say one then press enter. Here we got the output. Now let's enter ID value 117. Okay, press enter. Here we got the output. This is how we can define base route at controller level. Uh, now, let's say I don't want to use this, uh, this base route uh, for all the action methods because I need to use a uh, own route also. So in this situation, we need to override the route by using till symbol uh, like this. This till symbol is uh, available in below the escape key in your keyboard. Now, in this scenario, the base URL will not work for this uh, particular action method. So we can access this method by using this URL only. So enable all the routes here. Now save, uh, sorry, stop the execution. Now save and run this application again. Now navigate to the base URL first student then method name get all here we got the error 404 now um, now let's try to access this URL by using this URL get all so remove this controller name here here we got the output now use the second url get ipen all this time also we got the output this is how we can overwrite 
route in asp.net core web api application thanks for watching this video